Welcome to the Washington, D.C. Market Watch, brought to you by Real Estate Business Intelligence and MRIS Company. Let's examine the most recent numbers for housing market activity in the nation's capital. During the second quarter of 2012, the pace of national economic growth slowed, and it became evident the recovery will be protracted. The U.S. economy added 80,000 jobs in June, below forecast and far below the pace needed to significantly lower the unemployment rate. Job growth averaged 75,000 per month in the second quarter, compared to 226,000 monthly during the first quarter, and many economists anticipate slow job growth throughout the summer and possibly into the fall. Consumers and businesses remain cautious in their expectations about the future, largely because of political and economic uncertainty. While congressional negotiations continue, there seems to be little movement toward a compromise that would avoid the $1.2 trillion in mandatory federal spending cuts scheduled to go into effect on January 2nd. Taxes also remain a source of uncertainty. President Obama proposes an extension of the Bush-era tax cuts for families earning up to $250,000. However, Republicans argue that higher income households should also be included. Reports from the national housing market remain upbeat. Sales and pending sales activity are up with most metropolitan areas experiencing price increases. New construction is also rebounding. The number of new housing starts has risen to its highest level in four years. While the national housing market shows signs of life with prices and construction activity, it's important to interpret these trends with caution as the nation's political and economic situation continues to evolve throughout this election year. The local economy posted healthy employment growth, adding 13,000 resident workers over the past 12 months. The unemployment rate in the district is 9.0 percent, up slightly from last month. There is ample evidence that demand is rising as the inventory of homes for sale continues to fall. The 1,611 active listings at the end of June are 32.4 percent below a year ago and the 869 new listings entered reflect the lowest number of June listings the district has seen in 10 years. While the inventory is shrinking, sales activity is gaining momentum. 702 homes sold in June, the highest monthly sales level in two years. New pending sales are also trending upward. 757 new contracts were signed in June, the highest June level since 2005 and the ninth consecutive year-over-year -year gain. This low inventory coupled with strengthening sales is impacting the district's housing market in several ways. There is upward pressure on prices. In June, the median sales price reached a record high of $455,000, 4.6% higher than June 2011. Average days on market is 52, down from 68 days a year ago. The sale to list price ratio has also narrowed, increasing to 97.5% from 94.7% in June 2011. The current dynamics in the Washington, D.C. housing market point to increasing demand, higher prices, and quicker sales in the coming months. The number of active listings should eventually increase to meet the growing demand, though it is unclear when this will occur. Many potential sellers are still faced with significant equity loss and could be waiting for prices to climb further. That's the Washington, D.C. Market Watch for this month. Check back next month for the latest.